So this is um, Laser Disco Defenders, uh, right? Uh, by all accounts, a sort of a fun, cute game. I like since it's style, like the cartoons and everything. I like them. I like the the voice work and the story. I like all this stuff. Uh, I'm not like the biggest fan of disco in the first place, but you know I like it. I like the style despite that. The actual gameplay is where it falls apart for me, and the it's like it's kind of hard. It's like hard and not rewarding. Um, I think like if this were like. The days of Nintendo or something. If this were, it would be impressive in that time. Of course, I guess you wouldn't have a controller like this where you could do this. I think the main thing is that when you fly, when they fly, they don't look quite right. They look weird. Like um, they're always falling. Like w w wouldn't the jetpack? If they have jetpacks, wouldn't they generally like they have? They would have to set the hover. The, the controlling, the controls just don't feel quite right. I don't like it. I, um, and I think that's a major impact. They, you, you never walk around, you never do platforming. Like if I walk, this is the equivalent of walking. And nothing looks good, it doesn't look right. It looks kind of blah. So, so this effect where the lasers bounce around and so in a way you're, you're, you're your own worst enemy. Uh, it's kind of interesting, I guess. Uh, but um, and then eventually the enemies get to be pretty tough, and then you and your enemies are both your own worst enemy. But um, yeah, so basically, um, the worst thing is not so much—it's not so much the gameplay is bad, but like the fact that you play for a while, and then I'll just demonstrate. Um, this is probably my last time playing this game. I'm gonna delete it, I think. Uh, I think it takes up enough. I can't remember how much space it takes up on the hard drive. Just, let me just check that real quick. Um, hopefully, I didn't mess up my video just now. Um, but yeah, I just I just sort of did like a little pause thing to check how much space it takes up. It takes up 500 megabytes, which really isn't that much. I guess in a way, I don't really have to delete it. Um, I may just delete it anyway. Um, but yeah, it's sort of like, there's nothing wrong with this, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, it just doesn't look that good. And it's challenging, it's challenging, but I think if it doesn't look good, then it's not rewarding, the challenges are not rewarding, because ultimately you're playing on to continue to ruin your feng shui more by playing the game further. I, I wouldn't really mind that that much. The problem is, the problem is this. So I'm slowly dying here. I'm not gonna be overly careful here. But let me see if I can at least make it to the bubble level, right? But so if, if I make it to the bubble level, I mean you've seen me do it before. So there's no need to necessarily make it to the bubble level. But if I make it to the bubble level, I'll. If I, if I do make it to the bubble level, then um, I won't have a right to stay there. I won't be able to just start from that part again. I'll have to do it all over again. There's no easy mode. I think if your game is not good, you especially need an easy mode. Because it's like, like um, Dark Souls or whatever can survive without an easy mode, partially because you can level and all that. And there's some, there's some form of leveling in this game, I guess you call it roguelite sort of, is it? No, I, I think roguelite would have permadeath, but um... You know, you just, you just sort of made to start over and over again. Yeah, there we go, like so now, now I have to start all over again, and sometimes based on mission progress, if I can reach Cave 6, if I can destroy 10 laser mines, if I can get a multiplier of 7, then I have progressed a little further in the mission and get a new item of clothing, which often don't help that much, like uh, I have this, um, the shades, they do something or they double my points, 
which doesn't actually help me get to your mission. It just sort of helps me get a higher score, I guess. So, yeah. The gameplay is not that good. It's not easy. You, um... You're made to just do the same thing, the same mundane, boring level over and over again. And, you know, it's just like, after a while, what's the point? Why am I playing this? I don't know how you can, you know... Uh, when I play a game, I want to progress, you know? I want to get to a new part. I feel like I'm never getting anywhere in this game. And it's not that I couldn't get somewhere, it's, I, but I can't, I can't care enough to get somewhere. I'm gonna try to get the freaking multiplier 7, I'm gonna try to get destroy 10 laser mines, reach cave 6, um, you know, I, I don't know, I just don't, I just don't care enough. I think what did it for me was that I had, I reached the bubble level, right, and it gave me a new story point. And then I, I beat the bubble level, right? I beat the level, bubble level and I made it to the checkerboard level and I expected it to give me a new story part for that. But then it didn't give me a new story part. And then it's like, what's the point? Like, I, I feel like I'm not... The story part's already disconnected enough from the gameplay in the first place. But, um... It's like, what am I playing this game for? Like, what's the, what's the objective? I just don't, I don't like it that much. It's not, it's one player, it doesn't look very good, it's not, it's not fun, it doesn't, it doesn't feel good playing it. Like, falling, rocketing up, like, I feel like the, the character should rocket in place. If I don't, if I should have to push down for it to go down. Um... And there's no way to, there's no way for him to rock it in place. You either rock it straight up, there's no, there's no tricks, I don't know. So it just doesn't work for me. So, this is goodbye to Laser Disco Defenders. I will not be playing this again. Goodbye Laser Disc Defendos, Defenders.